And that takes a lot of pressure off of you. But Who's that doesn't, huh? Who's at Zaratustra? One thing that I was gonna, sometimes when I find myself having some sort of conversation because there is a lot of guilt usually around, I, I try, I tend to say things like, you know, the beautiful things about life is that, you know, we are here to experience life, you know, that we know because we have free will and trying to be, uh, sounds like there is no judgment, you know, because nobody can really teach you or make you see the light or understand certain things. So it's kind of like, okay, have fun, you know, you, whatever okay. I, I feel within myself that sooner or later, eventually, who knows, maybe this person is going to uh, understand something without me say, hey, you should start to meditate. Oh, you should do this. You should do that. I hear right. that. So, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. And definitely the focus has to be within myself first. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I'm not telling anybody what to do. Maybe somebody has a very deep desire inside them to enlighten the planet. And they feel like this is their mission. Their mission is to be out there and enlightening and saving souls. Far out. I mean, if that, per that if, for example, I just say you, but I don't mean you in that way. But if you have that desire and it's happening for you, means that spirit, that life force is coming through you to really passionately enlightening people far out. There's nothing wrong with that either. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. I can only speak from my own experience. My experience is I love, I love what I'm doing and I miss it. Like I was missing the academy. I was really looking forward to today of being together. And recently, yeah, I realized I haven't had a uh, online retreat. And I really enjoy it. And, and uh, so I designed a new uh, a seven-day free global online retreat, which is uh, is about the birth of new, the new you. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it because I love teaching. I love it when I'm in this place and we go to this connection with each other and the energy is flowing. And, but a big part of it is when I truthfully look into it is why am I doing this is the number one thing being very honest is because I love doing it. You understand? It's like being really honest with yourself. Yeah, because I love doing it. And I don't even have to get paid for it. I mean, I would be doing this every day for free if, if I was supported. Because, because I love doing it. But of course you have to create a way of supporting yourself too. So uh, in the old days, in the ashrams, the guru would be the ashram. This is like a few hundred years ago up to even now, then the ashram in the, in, traditional in India, uh, the Hindu ashrams, because that's the major religion, mostly Hinduism, although they have other religions there, was designed by the wealthy, by the Brahmins, supporting the ashram and the guru, so the spiritual seeker could come to the ashram and do spiritual practice. And of course, they would also help volunteering during the work at the ashram. So, but basically was supported what, by the wealthy to create a platform for the guru to be able to teach and for the commoner people who don't have that financial ability to come and be a part of the ashram 
And so they don't have to be working all day long trying to make a living to come and be able to meditate and work on themselves. That's how the ashrams were created. And they changed their forms and looks. They're still there. So, but back to what we were talking about is the surrendering to what is, surrendering to your energy. And what is, where is your energy going? For example, for me is that I'm happiest when I'm teaching and I'm working. But it's number one is for myself because I love it. If every time I taught and I, and I did this work, I would get a neck ache or get a severe headache, then I would stop doing it because it, was, it would become painful. So you have to just be very clear. What are you doing it for? Is it coming from an ego? Or is it coming really from your heart? Is it really serving your inner being and supporting your being? Uh, the spiritual ego is very clever, hides really well, and can sneak in there very, very easily and fool you. So a deep part of me is, I don't think existence needs me. I don't think God needs me to enlighten the, the planet. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, what's special about me that God would want to do it through me? Why God isn't, God can do it through anybody else. So in my head, I don't go there with this story that I'm special. It's just what's apparent is it's happening. And of course, it's happening as long as it can make sense. Because it may come to a point that it's not working anymore. Maybe people don't gather around you anymore. Maybe you can't afford putting it, any, putting it on anymore. And then it's not happening anymore. Maybe the transmission is not happening and it becomes like empty words. You sit there, you have your audience and you're just blah, 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 but there's no transmission happening. But we're a sp small group, we're a small platform, but so far, past 10, 11, 12 years that I've been doing this work professionally, somehow it just, somehow it's sustaining itself and somehow it's happening. So there's a few people interested to listen and in that connection, a transmission takes place and awakening happens to those few people. For me, it's like, I'm very happy with that. That's enough. Even if one or two or three people get enlightened throughout this period of time, that's a major in accomplishment. Excuse me, this is Isabella. I have a question. Hi, Isabella. I have a question related to the third eye meditation. In fact, I have two questions related to that. Okay. And excuse me, it's a slightly different topic than what we 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 heard just now. But um, so when you when you go into third eye meditation, or what is happening what? to me is that. What, I'm sorry, when I go to where? Third eye. Third eye meditation, meditation. okay, okay. So I get different, I, I get a suite of colors of different uh, shape and intensity 